Hi everyone and happy 2020. It's been a while since I posted anything on my YouTube channel, but now I'm back from the holidays and I can't wait to share some more Blender stuff with you. Today I wanted to show you how to create six most basic Blender materials that can be used in your projects. If you're new to Blender and you don't know how the materials work, be sure to check out this video where I explain all of the basics. And now, without further ado, let's just jump into it. I have created this simple scene so we have a better preview on how the materials look like. Uh, please remember you can download it totally for free from the Chocofor store. A link is provided in the video description. But now I'm gonna enter the rendered view so we can have some shadows. And on my machine, unfortunately, EV rendering engine does this strange flickering. So I will just disable the soft shadows for now from the settings here. And let's move on to creating the first material, which will be just a glossy shader. I'm selecting this chair here, going to the materials tab, and I'm gonna hit a new uh, button here. So you can see we have this node set up and all of the settings down below. I prefer using the nodes here. So the first thing you wanna do, or you might want to do, will be changing the color of your material. And we do it using this field here. I'm just gonna pick this <laughs> shade of orange. And the other setting you would like to play with is the roughness slider here. If I go down with it, you can see we are instantly getting sharper reflections on the object. And if I go higher, uh, the surface becomes matte. So that's essentially the very first material. The one you will probably use the most is just a glossy shader where you adjust the color and the roughness of the reflections. Second material I would like to show you is just a basic metal material and we're going to use this table for it. I'm going to click new here, but before we present the metal, it's important to enable the screen space reflections here. So our shader uh, gets more of those environment reflections as you can see already on the chair. If I disable this option, we are just getting those highlights visible. So with our table selected, I have created a new material. And to create the most bas basic metallic shader, we just increase this metallic slider to maximum and we play around with the color. So if we go lower with the value here, you can see we get somewhat metallic look. The roughness slider again is very important. So if we go down with it, you can see our uh, metal surface becomes more reflective. Actually, it is uh, the reflections are constant since we define them using the metallic slider. But if we decrease the roughness, you can see the environment uh, reflected here. What I like to do with my metallic surfaces is adding a little bit of the bluish uh, color tint to the material. So if we use this uh, dot here and move it somewhere to uh, towards this area, you can see the surface becomes uh, blue, but that's a little bit too much in my opinion. So the saturation slider here allows us reducing this effect. I'm usually keeping the value of point uh, zero 0.05. So we still have a gray surface, but it has this little uh, metallic tint visible in it. Third material will be just the plain mirrory surface. And I'm going to use this plane here. Uh, the process is basically as with the metallic material. So we increase the metallic value to maximum, but we reduce the roughness to minimum. And this way you can see our environment is reflected. This huge white blob here is our light source. If I decrease its radius, you will see it's also getting smaller in the reflections. And yeah, so mirror is actually pretty easy to create. What I also like doing with the mirrors is keeping the uh, color 
not as a perfect white, meaning we have value of one here, but just decreasing it, to, let's say 0.9 or 0.8. As in reality, the reflections in the mirrors are always a little bit darker than the actual environment. And it's also important to have the screen space reflections enabled here in order to see the reflections in the mirror. If we use Cycles rendering engine, uh, all this happens by default, but with the EV rendering engine, we have to use those little hacks here. Now, the fourth material will be just the very basic gloss and to create it, we can do it both ways, just by creating the basic principled BSDF shader and playing around with the transmission settings here. If we go up with them and reduce the roughness here, we kind of get uh, a glass material, but as you can see, we have no transparency visible. And again, if we use just the cycles rendering engine, all of this already works. But with Eevee, we have to use a little trick. So we go to the screen space reflections here and we make sure the refraction is checked here. Now we go back to the material settings and just under the settings here, we have to enable the screen space uh, refraction and translucency as well, just in case. So now you can see we are getting a very nice looking real-time gloss. We can also create gloss material by using a special node that's dedicated for it. So here within the node editor, I'm going to press shift A, go to the shader and choose the principal, uh, sorry, the, the gloss BSDF node here. So if I just plug it in here, you can see we basically get the same effect as set up in the principal BSDF shader, but it's working uh, straight out of the box. However, you still have to check those boxes here within the material settings. Next in line is the translucent material, and that's a type of a material that you can, for example, observe on plants. It's a semi-transparent material, meaning it still uh, lets the light pass through it, but we aren't able to see the colors and uh, refracted objects as in the glass materials. Let me just show you how we can do it. Uh, we start with the basic principled BSDF shader. So let's change this color to green. So it looks like a plant a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And with the roughness, just as with the normal glossy material, we just edit it uh, normally. And now what you have to do to enable the translucency, as you can see when I'm uh, placing my camera straight to the light source, no light is passing through the leaves. So to do to, to have this effect, we have to create two more nodes here. I'm going to add the add shader node. And now I'm going to go and choose the translucent BSDF. And as soon as I connect them, you can see there is something happening with our object. Now, it doesn't look realistic at all. So let's adjust the colors here. Let's make it green and make it a little bit darker. Now you can see we have this very, very nice effect. So those areas which are facing directly to the light source are getting this very nice uh, kind of even glow. If I copy this light source and move it here, you can see immediate uh, translucency visible here. So I think this is one of the most interesting materials you can actually create in Eevee's rendering very quickly and you can very nicely enhance any blender scene if you uh, apply it to those thin sur surfaces. By the way, uh, if I go to the edit mode with this leaf, you can see it works the best if we only have this one sided uh, surface in Blender which bears this material, then it generates the best looking effects. 
And finally, last but not least, will be the emission shader, which can be used, for example, to create anions or light sources. I'm gonna start with a plane, scale it down, and I'm just gonna create a very quick neon, very ugly one, but please don't judge me. I'm just doing it on the fly. So as you can see, I'm just uh, having those three vertices, selecting the last one, I will just extrude it a couple of times um, along the X and Y axis. Let's just maybe move it down like this. I'm not gonna extrude everything pressing the E key towards the Z axis and now I'm gonna um, extrude it again and just press S key so we have something of a substance like that. Now I'm just gonna apply the subdivision surface modifier, increase the viewport subdivisions, and by right clicking, select shade smooth. So we have our neon, I know it's ugly, please forgive me. Um, let's now create a new shader again. And instead of using principled BSDF, I'm gonna delete it and I will press shift A select shader and choose the emission here. So if I apply it, you don't actually see anything happening. We can increase the strength of the emission and it actually becomes visible in the reflections. Again, if we use the cycles rendering engine, this becomes uh, visible out of the box. If we increase the energy, it actually uh, emits the actual light and casts the actual shadows around the scene. But in EV, we have to use a hack again. So a hack in this case will be enabling the bloom effect here. As soon as I do it, you can see, boom, we have this very, very, very nice looking neon, uh, well, kind of effect. Let's decrease the strength a little bit. And what's really cool in Eevee is that we have those colored reflections visible in all of the surfaces in our scene. Uh, to make this element cast some shadows around the scene, we can simply select one of the light sources, duplicate it and move it somewhere around. Let's maybe decrease the energy a little bit so it's not that strong. Let's use five and let's now use a color that's similar to what we have used on our emissive shader. So I can now duplicate um, this point lamp, move it around the scene, change the color, adjust the energy. And in this way, we are actually able to very nicely fake this neon kind of effect, which looks very, very cool in my opinion. So, these are six most basic materials you can use in Blender to quickly enhance any of the scenes you're working on. So I really hope you enjoyed this quick tip video and you learned something new today. Please remember you can also visit the Chocofer store and download over free over uh, over 100 free shaders which you can use for both your private and commercial projects. That will be it for me today. Thanks everyone for watching and again have an amazing 2020. See you in another Chocofur video. Bye bye.